Hello everyone, my name is Zoltov and today in this video I'm gonna just review this uh, Lollipop ROM on this Sony Xperia M device. It's a custom ROM by CM12 Pack and Man or something like that. I don't know exactly how to pronounce the name. But yeah. So you definitely get this Lollipop features on this. It's pretty cool, right? The main highlight of Lollipop is just the animation from where the icons pop up, where it goes, that's all about it. First of all, let's start with the home screen. As the home screen is pretty much normal, but you get the slight different app drawer plus animation on this. Yeah, you can, I guess you can see the animation. And when you press on home button, you get your Google Now with cool bubble type. It's pretty much cool. And this recent apps are something very great. You can just see the tabs, the all the apps open as if you are opening as a tab. Let me show you some apps. Yeah, see these are in the tabs form. You can just swipe away, or you can click on this into button, or you can. Just click on this for uh, closing all apps at a time. First of all, let's start with the notification drawer. As a notification drawer, a little bit different from well, you can. If you swipe it from here, just pull down your notification from here. You first reveal your notifications. Then, if you further pull down, you get into this quick shortcuts. But when you pull your notifications from here, you first reveal your quick settings and this is like continuous notification drawer pulling it's kind of cool the animation the way it looks so beautiful and uh, when let's get jump into settings and talk about it later so when you just get it here you get your battery your settings and this is the guest mode I mean the user uh, profiles. I will talk about it later on in this video. First of all, let's jump into settings. And in settings, let's go to about home. Yeah, and let me show you. We are running C1904, Sanajum, Android 500 Lollipop. When you tap it, you get you reveal your Lollipop. Lollipop. Can you hold it further? You get the game just like flappy bird but in this sanajum version uh, you get one more game even the same game but with the different uh, men I mean you see this is now here we have the sanajum guy that's it there's nothing difference in this and restore the settings it this lollipop run just not brown uh, bought the cool animations and stuff but it got some pretty much neat and good features mm, this is printing accessibility data and time these are all just the same routine backup and restore but here we get an accounts that's the just uh, normal account just nothing much buying privacy and uh, this privacy is for our Sanajam guys. Uh, when you use a Sanajam ROM, you might be familiar with this type of privacy. It's a privacy guard to test your apps. You can block block your numbers, filter notifications, and stuff like that. And then security. This brings a lot of unique features like I'll be getting you with one by one but the first the skin screen pinning that means what it does is if you gonna it says when turned down you can use screen pinning screen uh, yeah, until you have used the screen pinning to make sure the pinning is turned on open the screen touch the overlay so what it does is whenever if someone stranger asks for your phone to do a phone call or something like that you just open up the dialer uh, if you think that you will not allow him to access anything other than just use the f uh, use it for phone call just press on this pin button okay 
I can't exactly see. Okay, yep. Now it says start. Yeah, now you are pinned in. Now this guy can go back, can go to home, can multitask, can do anything. He is just stuck with this button, you know, this layout. Either he had to call it or gave your phone to you back. Nothing he can do further. So, now this is quite handy feature. So, if you want, just remove this, press the back button and the multitasking both at the same time. One, two, three. Exactly, I can't see. Uh, yeah, that's it. It just goes away. So, it's pretty much neat feature. If you feel strangers, a bit of danger. <laughs> yeah, now. Let's go to trusted agents to use screen, screen lock. Okay, uh, to use that trusted agents, we need to set a screen lock. So let's keep a lock pattern, pattern lock. The animation of this is kind of cool. Do you notice it? It's going like a charm. Yeah, now let's now. In this screen, it shows you which uh, notifications do you want to see. In your phone log, show all notifications, hide sensitive information, contacts, don't show. Let's see the second one. Done. And now, the smart lock feature is unlocked. Trusted agents have come in. We are running on Google Trusted Agent Smart Lock. Okay, let's jump into more details of this now. Yeah, this smart lock is really cool feature. It gets a bunch of other things like trusted device. That means if you have a smartwatch, uh, you can pair uh, your smartwatch with this device with the Bluetooth. Whenever the smartwatch is on the phone, you do it doesn't need to uh, do a a parent lock or lock you can just swipe away like you don't have a lock and you can unlock your device without any uh, pressing a pattern or something like that and this is kind of cool trusted places that means if you are a guy uh, who goes to work and want to keep your phone on the lock uh, in the lock screen and when you come home you want it to be unlocked it do does the same way whenever you go to work uh, it just locks your phone yeah, that means you require a parent to unlock when you're at home you just remove the parent you just can do it as a swipe this is its feature and you can even customize from where to where at the distance and you get a map you can select over there and trust faces that means you can uh, open the face lock yeah that's uh, and you can encrypt your phone this, uh, in this uh, it doesn't work I don't know if it's still in beta, so it doesn't work. I'm not sure about it. Messaging stuff like that, these are all same. And the next thing we're gonna go with this is users. This is kind of new feature. If you are a guy who doesn't, who want to maintain a second profile, that means you don't wanna give your personal uh, home screen to others or if you are a guy who give your phone tablet or something like that to your kids and if they if you think uh, that they should not access your documents your your uh, apps and stuff like that you can just create a guest account and uh, put two to three guides in that and they are pretty much limited to that they cannot even open anything they can only play the game and the next one we're gonna talk about is the oh yeah by the way i forgot to mention that in this rom you even get your apps to sd card you can store your apps on sd card that's pretty much cool you can use a link link to sd card and you can store it it's pretty much insane when you go to display yeah adaptive brightness Brightness according to your 
need brightness levels rotation sleep day clock phone catch screen is just the welcome one double tap wake on plug these are pretty much basic and there's nothing to tell you about that you know buttons also when you are using cm12 you are familiar with that your status bar also the same you can just quickly change the status bar things home that means you can change your launchers go to flow launcher or go to this launcher that's pretty much it i'm just switching to flow launcher and in this more you don't get nothing much just you can change the messaging app nfc uh, let me turn this off for wi-fi hotspot so they are mobile and these are all same in bluetooth uh, here is a little change for this you get in the previous uh, versions you can manually select uh, whom to show your bluetooth or uh, it should be hidden it should be short to only paired ones but in this the option is removed and it's shown to everyone whenever you just turn on your bluetooth it's just visible to everyone this is because uh, your smartwatch and stuff like that will also connect i guess so they made it this feature i don't know if it's a bad thing or a good but that's pretty much it now you get so many animations over there cool cool animations yeah like i just said i just changed my launcher to flow launcher so guys that's pretty much it i think i have covered most of the thing but before leaving i just want to show you some cool animation for this and that's pretty much it i guess i have covered everything and uh, i didn't leave anything i guess mm, pretty much basic syndrome but in this one problem for this rom especially for cm12 that means it just consumes a hell lot of battery let me tell you and i'll get this point now it's time to tell you about the bugs i guess first of all let me show you this cool boot animation which is the marvel zip boot animation it's kind of cool wait a minute it will load and you'll just see it superb yeah how is it guys Yeah, that's it. It's just booted up. Now it will boot. The problem with this is uh, when you are using a battery, it's just good. It gives you three a three to four hours of battery life on on screen time. But the problem with this is whenever you just turn on your battery saver, it acts like a battery drainer. <laughs> Isn't it cool? Uh, Oh, I had uh, uh, I was trying it and I had like 15% of battery left when just when I just turned on the battery saver it drained like in two minutes uh, I just got I thought oh to 15% so I just need to put my phone down I was watching YouTube video I just closed the video suddenly my battery turned into 5% so I just logged my phone my phone just turned off and never turned on until like I put it for a charge so that's kind of weird and regular uh, you just get some little bit of hiccups you know i don't expect uh, it's just a beta but it's pretty much stable there are not many of the uh, places where you just need to reboot uh, it just reboots very rarely sometimes it does i don't want to say it doesn't sometimes it just reboots the device sometimes it doesn't turn on you just need to remove your battery and put your battery back then it will on so that was it let me show you the notification how can i forget about that and i just put your phone these are the notification which i was talking on you get your notifications on the go 
you can just see the notifications if you want to open the notification double tap it just press your luck that's it I will take you to the notification so guys that's pretty much it from me if you like today's video please hit the like button subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and uh, till then enjoy guys thanks for watching bye